Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add seam allowance to your sewing patterns. I'm Colleen G Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm going to be showing you how to add seam allowance to bird style sewing patterns that you get in their magazines which is different from when you get them in the envelope because they have seam allowance. Once you get to the centre of the magazine this is what their patterns look like they are several patterns on here roughly uh, I suppose about eight to ten and um, you need to find out which particular style you want to make and once you've done that the next thing is to trace the actual pattern out and I'll show you how to do that in order to identify which sewing patterns you're gonna need throughout this maze that's happening is the best thing to locate your pattern which I have done here get a highlighter pen and then just run the pen over the actual line. You don't need a ruler for this necessarily. It's just so that you can see it when you actually trace around the pattern and also you can locate the pattern again once you've um, highlighted all the pattern pieces. So you do that to all your pattern pieces and it makes it a lot more easier to actually see. I've now completed highlighting all my sewing pattern pieces as you can see. Now hopefully that stands away from the page somewhat so it'll be easier for me to actually trace. Now I'm going to trace the uh, front of this blouse and I've got some grease tooth paper here, make sure it, you can see through it and I've actually traced around it already so that I can put some weights on there, it's a good idea to get weights, if you haven't got weights you know any cans will do as well to make sure it doesn't move as you draw around your pattern. Now you should be able to see that I've got the outline of the actual garment which is a top, I've also got the button and also the labelling of any parts of the garment that needs to, as it says there, facing this be put to the fold. And it also has a pocket, so I've drawn that in position there. And do make sure that you put all the necessary details, such as what the blouse is, the number, you know, whether it's a front or back, so that you can identify any of the patterns at a later date. Now I'm going to come back and show you how to add the seam allowance all the way around. I have now traced off my sewing pattern and here I have the front part of the garment and this will not fit because I haven't added seam allowance and that is what we need to do next. In order to do that the best measuring tool that I prefer to use is a gauge which has a slider and it has it works in centimetres as well as inches and I prefer to work in centimetres and it's quite stable and you've got this edge here, here in which to actually mark your actual lines and I'll show you how to use that and then also be using a ruler it doesn't have to be an L-shaped ruler these are just more for the long lines within the garment just makes it a little bit easier so let's start with the sewing gauge I'm going to make sure it's at 1.5 centimeters as I've said I work in centimeters um, I'm going to put it a little bit outside of the garment but making sure this red pointer here is inside of the garment it just makes it easier for when you're actually joining up all the other lines so first mark there I'm bringing it into the sewing pattern making sure I can see the actual pencil line and work it down every so often And again, I'm going off the pattern, half off the pattern. Just makes it easier for when I do the next line. Okay, so that's 1.5. I'm now ready to do the curve. Now, um, when you're doing curves, I recommend so that you get a good curve that you actually do them a, a little bit closer, the actual lines. So I'm going to be going halfway out of my pattern. And bit is a curve. and just make them a little bit smaller so that you can get a good curve when you actually come to joining the lines if you wish I prefer not to because I'll just use my scissors for when they actually come to shaping out the pattern 
and I'll show you that towards the end. So it's 1.5 inside, 1.5. I've just got this last stage to do here and then I'm going to do the rest of the sewing pattern and then I'm going to come back to you and show you how to actually cut it out so I'm going to be half off and half inside of the pattern and that will allow me to start the next inside next line as well and then I just use a straight edge here in which to join that end up and we come back over here just to make sure that we've got a good right handle there. I've now added a seam allowance to my uh, pattern and uh, I've cut up the side seam and I'm now going round the armhole and I don't join my lines because it's, it's you can do if you want because it's all about personal preference. If that's the way you prefer to work, that's what fashion sewing is all about. And if you can, just let your scissors kind of travel without you having to actually cut and just glide the pattern and you get a much more smoother curve so do bear that in mind because it is a good technique that I, um, I use quite a lot whenever my scissors will allow me um, just get that one started you can also do that on straight lines let's see if I can hold that down and let my scissors glide and my scissors are now gliding great and then around the next curve Give that head start. If I can get it to glide, then do so. I'm doing a bit of a gliding and cutting at the same time. So I'm going to continue cutting out the rest of this pattern and then I'll show you what my pattern pieces look like once they've added all my seam allowances. My uh, sewing patterns now have the seam allowance added. This is the front, and as you can see, that's the original tracing line, and I've actually added the seam allowance and cut that away. And these are what all the rest of my sewing patterns now look like with the seam allowance now added. And this is all about how you prefer to work. Remember to label them. It now has a collar, so that's the front, that's the back. It has a collar. Um, as you can see, seam allowance is added a collar stand and they've all been labelled and it has a pocket and then it has finally a yoke so these are all my small pattern pieces and my bigger pattern pieces and you know it's, it's all about how you prefer to work as a, as, as a fashion sewer if you do them all in the same um, actual paper but that's how you add your seam allowance to sewing patterns and seam allowance just before I go let me show you what that is all about this is your garment, that is your stitch line. The seam allowance is the actual fabric between the stitch line and the edge of your fabric. So that is what I've actually done in this tutorial. Some sewing patterns require that you have to add the seam allowance in order for you to stitch your garment and it to actually fit. I hope this process has been helpful and useful. And if you have any questions or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.